is the Rio Grande River. Mid out of Creed, going south to the mountains, and then Wolf Creek Pass, Pagosa Springs, two days hopefully. Here lies a small girl who died of a sickness on the wagon train west, in memory of all the children who died going west. Back up at 10,000 feet and covered in snow again. It's a little bit packed down, so definitely not as hard as all that stuff going over San Luis Pass. Some tips for pathfinding in the snow. First, just look for the space. See, there's no vegetation in here, right? Because on trail, your footsteps kill off the vegetation. And then when you see cut logs like this, great indicator that you're on trail because they're not going to be cutting logs. Sorry, I'm out of breath. <laughs> but basically, I'm just looking for the clear tunnel. And you do it for a while, you can pick it up pretty instinctively. Gorgeous mountains. Got to camp pretty early because it's dark at six o'clock now, so decided to build a roaring fire. It was really nice. Took forever to get going because everything's pretty wet. There's my camp and walkie talkie setting up back further. Gotta go straight up in here somewhere, back up to 12,000 feet. This is a pretty recent burn area. Cross the water here, and then go straight up in there. Not much of a trail, just a bunch of blowdowns. It is such slow going. So not only is there snow, there's no trail. Finally out of the trees. So at least I have to climb over a bunch of blowdowns. And it's just exhausting. I don't think there's any harder hikes than trying to go uphill in deep snow. Completely lost the trail. Just gonna work my way kind of up this way and that's the pass right there. Reconnect back to the CDT, 12,000 feet. Look at this place. Incredible. Also, 
super hard going. Probably said that a million times now, but just can't express enough how hard it is to like slowly plod and just go straight up the mountain. Deep enough now, I had to put on micro spikes. It's a good thing hasn't been too much snow or this would be a likely avalanche area. Pretty steep, steep grades. <laughs> you can see my path all the way up this mountain. Ah, really can't look behind me right now because it gives me some vertigo. <laughs> I'm almost at the top. Pudding's not too bad with my micro spikes. <sighs> I don't know if this is true how steep it is, but. Holy, <coughs> holy shit. Finally at the top. It is so gorgeous up here. The San Juans back this way. Yeah, I don't think there's any way right now in these conditions to move through there. Not without like 10 days of food. Just doing this Cree Junction is hard enough. Wow, what a crazy view. That is insane. Oh my God. Look at this view. Just incredible. These tracks I'm following, it's not people, it's uh, moose or elk. I think they're moose. Pretty big tracks. All right, how was the last stretch? Hard, there was no trail. It was just cross, cr cross country to, through the snow. Did you? I just went up like this. Yeah, I saw bowl. you. Yeah. I tried to find the trail, but I had to, hike like this all the time because all the blowdowns and then I saw you just straight up it was pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What do you think of the view here? Amazing, amazing, just incredible. Trail right around this. See the white ptarmigan right there. Pretty well camouflaged. So I'm at 12,700 feet now. This will be the highest point for the rest of the trail. 
and the vista that I just came across topping out is absolutely, absolutely incredible. Totally worth it. Yeah, walkie talkie. Look at this. So beautiful. Such crazy views. Endless snow. It's pretty steep through here. Don't want to fall. It is so crazy beautiful. I wonder if it's gonna be possible to get water from here. I need to be pretty careful around this edge as well. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Beautiful sunset. It's gonna be a bit of a challenge trying to find somewhere to camp tonight. A lot of the water sources are like, just covered with snow. You can't even see where they're supposed to be. They're frozen, like that lake. And then, uh, yeah, the trail is just real high. A lot of side sloping at 11, 11, 500 feet. So, finding somewhere to camp will be hard. Cause then, get to Wolf Creek Pass in like five or six miles, and then that's going down into Pagosa. So it would've been great to be able to get to town today, but just too slow going all the snow. <clears throat> like this water source, almost totally covered up. Camping in the snow tonight. All frozen. Deal with it in the morning, I guess. Not my shoes once again. Down at Wolf Creek Pass now. <clears throat> There's 
the ski area right down here. Um, I'm gonna hitch on down to Pagosa Springs. Just resupply with some food, get some restaurant food, and then uh, yeah, recharge batteries a little bit and get back up here because it's supposed to be more snow coming like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, so we're trying to get to Chama, New Mexico before all that new snow comes. Thank you.